Oh, be careful of these freaking cutscenes. I'm gonna have to close my eyes. Oh no! This looks freaking amazing! <laughs> what a difference that made! Oh, the colors! Oh, it's like, give you a freaking seizure. Uh, it should come with a warning. Oh, this is a game that feels like it's made for VR. This is freaking awesome. Hello, today I want to test out the Unreal Engine VR Injector mod on a couple of games and highlight some tips that could improve the experience. As I had faced a couple of things whilst playing some of these titles and how I got around them will be in this video. I just want to make you aware of what experience could be like as the intro you would have seen some questionable things but make no mistake this mod is crazy it is a game changer and it is going to provide you with hours of fun i am so blown away so i'm going to cover a third person experience with the uevr injector which i have chosen star wars and i was really taken back by its beauty it is perfect with this mod and also returnal which is going to go from a third person perspective to a motion controlled FPS and see how that fares. If you want to know how to set up experiences, know where to find games and discover supported titles, please check out my guide video. I will link it down below. This video, I'm just testing these experiences, showcasing some gameplay. And although I'm only showcasing two titles, there are over 11,000 Unreal titles for you to enjoy and try out. So enough chin wagging, let's get started. So I'm going to check out Star Wars. This is going to be like a, a third person experience. So I'll be able to see what it's like when it's not a just a typical first person and um, virtual reality experience. But the first thing you want to do when you dive into any game, I'm using an Xbox controller for this one. When you're using the Oculus controllers or any controller or the Xbox controller, right trigger Y, B um, and X to do the reset of your height, your origin and the centering of your view. Then you click the two sticks in and you'll get rid of this menu that's on the screen here. So click. All right, there's Cal on his knees. I'm super excited for this one. How smooth is it going to run? Okay, it's in, it's 3D. You know what, this is kind of crazy. It's kind of cool to see it, but it's messing with my eyes. So there are some things that you need to fiddle with, but for I need to be aware of, and I am slowly trying to figure them out. It's also, it's almost like one eye has some shaders, the other doesn't. And I believe when I, and when this occurs, you actually want to change the the rendering type of the game. So it's a good chance to see if this actually works. Because this is pretty freaking awesome. But my right eye, perfect. My left eye, some of the shaders are not there. So I want to go to VR, go to Unreal. There we go. Uh, native stereo. Change it to synchronized sequential. And it should hopefully get rid of that shading issue. Which I'm not sure you can see on screen. You can't. So, synchronized sequential, if you're having one eye shaders or one eye not, you can close each eye to figure it out. Oh, the difference! This looks freaking amazing! <laughs> what a difference that made! Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cool to see it. It looks beautiful. I know some people are against not having motion controls, but... I don't think you need it for everything. That was a huge lift uh, into a cave with some some glowing lights, a tomb. Oh, that's something. So that icon about, you know, coming here to press a button and interact with it kind of floats in front of the actual item. It's not embedded. So that's something that's good to know. Right, so I've started a new journey because I wanted to get an idea of the cutscenes and what they're like. But these are also in 3D VR. To be able to see the scale and look around the environment is breathtaking. This level of detail is just hard to come by in VR experiences. And to know that I can play a bit, oh, there's a bit of a uh, bit of popping going on there. But it's doing pretty well. If you get motion sickness, perhaps don't do this intro sequence. If you play VR, it still does have that, you know, I don't know, like a little jolt. That small jolt every now and again. It's super impressive that the cutscenes aren't just bars, because some games I'll play, you would have seen in this video, or will see in this video, that 
the cutscenes sometimes have black lines across them, and that would kind of be the camera shot of what you would view when you were playing the game normally if it wasn't in a okay. VR experience. All right. I cannot Let's recommend go. this enough already. Completely taken away by this. Uh, I, uh, not everyone's into the kind of third-person godlike views, but I am a massive fan of it. I think it creates a great blend for those who are kind of casual, want to just so relax and chill that. on the sofa, but play a great experience. And this is a great way yeah. to get immersed in a world completely. Especially this, where the cutscenes are involving and in-engine. Right, Stunning. You actually get to feel the scale of everything and be in the environment. So yeah, another tip that I just did there that you just saw is I adjusted the camera angle because you can actually, you can change that. You can go to the camera and move it where you want to be. You may not want this positioning. Um, no, and you can change the kind of the, the offset here where you would like it to be. But sometimes you mess up. If you just click the sticks in, you can go to the result, reset to default button at the top there. Change it back, but well, of course I need to adjust the shader, but I've just done that so all is well. We're back at it. Oh, oh, that got me a bit. The way that, that it, it moves the camera angle on its own sometimes. And then that quick flick, that made my stomach go. <laughs> this is beautiful, guys. This is on the Steam Winter Sale at the moment. It's got a couple of days left. Pick this up. Some of you might even have this game already. And I do believe it's part of the EA pass as well so you could get it on that subscription and save some money there as well yep no. you okay? no. I can't oh, be careful of these freaking cutscenes I have to close my eyes no, oh no okay we're done with Star Wars let's move on to Returnal. So you can see at the moment that it is a third person 2D experience and I'm going to just inject and you'll see it change the first person with hopefully 60 OF motion controls because I've injected and used that profile in the Unreal Engine VR app. So I'm going to hit inject. It's loading and there look you can see it's head tracks. Let me open, let me start, let me um Okay, so to you, the screen is not really moving, but to me, my right hand, uh, you can kind of see the, the map moving um, and the HUD moving. Right, let's continue. Oh, no, off the edge, we just started. There's something about this, because of the buttons, the way that you have to kind of, the way you sit on the analog stick, you can't, your finger has to be hanging off a little bit so you can get that dash because that's super important in this game. It does look pretty cool, but it is a little shaky. It's definitely not as stable as what we were just playing. Oh, there, there. Oh, here we go. Okay, now I've got a weapon that I can move around and shoot with. But from your view, um, my HUD is actually attached to the weapon. And the aim is slightly off. Like, it's slightly to the right, so be aware of that. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, the gun mesh. This... This little setup here is how you, they've managed to get 60 OF on the gun. As to what all of these things mean, I could not say. <laughs> I'd need to have another little fiddle, but you can mess with all of these settings. You don't have to be in the headset to do it as well. You can sit down on the computer and do so. Oh, there's quite a lot there. All right, but let's check out the game anyway. Let's play, let's freaking play, let's shoot some stuff. Oop. It's gone into a little bit of a cutscene. The motion blur on my gun and you can see out of the distance, but it does control your view, but you do have the ability to turn your head and focus it again. It's just a shame that, well, it does, it does move you. And I do have a little shake with inside the headset. Oh, the colors. Oh, it's like 
give you a freaking seizure. It should come with a warning. Oh, this is a game that feels like it's made for VR. This is freaking awesome. Actually, when I'm moving, that sh the shake's not as bad. It's just sometimes. It's not all the time that I'm getting the shake. It could be that I'm completely unstable. Ooh, I do love this. To be able to actually be in the game and look around and see the scale of the environment that is previously not possible. Look at this! Woo! <laughs> this is previously not possible to come in and see a game that was designed to have scale and ethos and an atmosphere that you can actually now be part of it. Seeing this ooh, sphere that seems to be alive. Well, it's good to die because now you can see the, the cutscene. It's because it's a pre-render, you get it on a 2D screen and it's controlled by your your right hand. Okay, so now that we're, we're back out, I can show you, look, you can, from inside the headset, that you can see, look, that the gun also kind of has the HUD attached to it as part of the uh, gameplay. It's not too distracting. You kind of get over it. But it is something, something that's there. And you might be able to see a bit of the jitter that I'm talking about that you see inside the headset that the desktop capture didn't initially show you. So that's it today, guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video and coming to check out a couple of these games, which aren't your typical just FPS titles because we had a third person perspective that turned into an FPS with motion controls and a joypad experience, which had the beautiful, stunning views of a third party perspective where you can take in the world. I just love those God views. Check out the guide. I'll link it down below in the description. Please subscribe. Have a great week. Happy gaming. Good day.